Hi my friends, this is Jody Renshaw from The Thrifty Pigeon and Studio 36 and today we are going to finally do our mug sale because no one should have a boring coffee mug collection and I want to show you my recent favorite mug Finding Gerald I got him at the Catholic thrift store and I got so giddy that I texted my friends and my family pictures of this mug while I was buying it because I was so excited. 25 cents. Finding Gerald. If you haven't seen the movie Finding Dory yet, oh my gosh, please do. Please do. So good. So this is a static sale, which means that I will leave it up on YouTube for a week and it's not a live sale. So uh, basically you just watch it at your leisure. And then if there's a mug that you want, and I think there's some really great ones, uh, you will just put in the descriptor of the mug in the comments. So let's say this was up for sale for a million dollars because I'm not parting with it. Uh, let's say this one was up for sale. You would just put in the comments, Finding Gerald, and then you will email me with your PayPal and your address and your YouTube name. So I will put that in the description so you know what you need to do. Um, to make this easy, oh, first, before I say that, what you should do before you comment is check and make sure no one has claimed that particular mug. There will be a couple sets of mugs, so um, I'll probably do those at the end because they're a different price point. But every mug that I'm going to show you, we're just going to make this easy. Um, I think I advertised them as, well, I can't remember if it's $6 or $8 a mug, So, but with shipping, Let's say six fifty a mug, because I can't remember. Um, six dollars and fifty cents per mug, and then uh, shipping, unless you live locally. Or if you just want to say six dollars, that's fine too. I'm easy. I just want these to go to fun homes, and then you can have them in your videos or in your office. And every time you lift up to drink. You tell the world who you are and what you love. And I I just love mugs. They're just such, they're useful, but they can be artistic and they, they just, they reveal something about you and share something about you. And they're a good conversation piece, et cetera, et cetera. I love finding them. I love searching for them. So yeah, let's just say $6, $6 a piece. And you just write... Um, you know, finding Gerald, you don't have to write the price, I'll know it. And then you email me with your info. Good enough. Good enough. This should be fun. I'm catching up, guys, catching up. I promised you guys I would do this. Uh, we also have a live sale on Sunday at 8 o'clock here on my YouTube channel. And I am working very hard to try to get this lovely, lovely young lady to collaborate with me on a weekly show. Um, I've been courting her to do so. She's, she's a woman after my own heart. So um, hopefully that will come to fruition soon. And uh, the pottery sale is done. So I will be sending those invoices out. And that means I need to make another pottery sale because uh, I'd like to do that as weekly as I can. Uh, pottery is something I love to buy and share and rescue often. So, um, and I have more hauls, so I have a lot going on. You can tell by the huge bags under my eyes that I have a lot going on right now. So, uh, but it's good, it's good. Life is good, life is good. I hope your life is good. Now that, um, you know, some restrictions have been lifted from the pandemic, a lot of us are, you know, have a lot to do, a lot of catching up to do. So yeah, let's get started. So I'll show you each mug and then um, tell you a little bit about it. And 
uh, there shouldn't be any flaws, but if there are, I'll let you know. And then you claim it if you want in the comment section. Some of you I already have your addresses and information and that's fine. So don't worry about that. If you, uh, if you do make a purchase, I'll, I'll know who you are. But if not, go ahead and send me some email. So uh, the dogs are here. They may start barking at any time. So uh, I might have to pause. They like to protect the house. So, um, all right. I don't know which one to pick first. So, okay, I'll pick this one first. You're gonna hear a lot of mug clacking. So I love this one for an office. Um, of course I picked one that I didn't take the sticker off of yet. Rude. Some of these, um, I'll certainly be making a profit off of and others I won't. So uh, when I was taking stickers off, I was like, wow, I paid a lot for that. So um, yeah, but it all helps my channel. It helps what I'm doing and I really appreciate every one of you. So here's, um, I've showed this to you in a haul, office, sweet office, and it's made to look like cross stitch. And I can just see somebody having this on their desk at the office and it being absolutely adorable. It's stoneware made in Japan by American Greetings. It is vintage, but uh, probably 1980s by the look of the bottom. And so, yeah, that's our first one. So if you would like this one, type in Office Sweet Office and it will be yours if you're the first to claim it. I don't know if you guys wanna know how tall these are. I think, I think you could probably guesstimate. Some are larger than others and smaller than others. This is probably what I would guess to be a 12 ounce. Um, it's just a regular sized mug. So that was number one. Number two, if you are into Bailey's coffee or Bailey's liquor to put in your coffee like I am, I have this Bailey's mug. Again, six dollars. This one um, just says made in China dishwasher and microwave safe. It's newer. It's not so vintage for sure. Um, made by Bailey's and Company and no flaws. And this seems to be about a 12 ounce too, if I know my mugs. I'm not sure if I do. Here's a vintage one. This is a little bit smaller, but check out those colors. So like for the last one, you would put Bailey's mug. It's going to be the only Bailey's mug I have. This one you could put vintage green or with swirls. Look at how neat that is. And this one also will be $6. No markings. I very rarely see these where they don't have paint chipping off. This one has no paint chipping off. I love this color. Okay. Oh, here's a fun one. This one's a little bit bigger. This one says feline sleepy and it has the same graphics on both sides, but it has little whiskers right there. It's so cute. Feline, feline sleepy. So I would say like maybe a 14 ounce mug or 15 if that's a thing. This is by Madison Studio. I don't know much about them, but this is in great condition. Might need a little cleaning up. I thought I did that already, but this is you. This is you at the office, at your meeting. I am feline sleepy. Okay, feline sleepy cat mug. Ooh, a vintage one. This one I took off of my eBay, I had it on there, but I really want it to go to a home and I had it for a higher price on eBay because it is collectible. It is a hippo and um, the maker of this in Japan, oh, I forgot the name. I don't want to go look on my eBay. Um, oops. Sorry guys. I forgot to shut my phone off. Okay, so this is real life. 
Um, it's like, oh, I know what it is. Quan Quan or Chuan Chuan, Q-U-A-N, Q-U-A-N. That's the maker of this particular vintage one. So only $6, no chips, no cracks, and no paint loss, no signature. But I did look it up. And it's got a baby hippo in the back. So very sweet. Okay, let's do a... Oh, I forgot to take the sticker off of this one too. I thought I was so prepared. I was sure I was so prepared. It doesn't have a maker on the bottom of this pottery. I do not believe that it is factory made. Um, I've seen enough pottery to hope, I think that it might be custom made, but there is a chance because of uh, the look of it that it might be factory made. I, I'm not really sure. But this one has the pine trees, no glaze on the pine trees, and then this gorgeous glaze. And you could just type in pine tree pottery mug. Again, it doesn't, I need to clean the sticker stuff off, but no maker on the bottom. I'm not sure if it came with a set. So there's that one. And then let's see, I'm gonna be leaning over a lot because I, I did not do that very well. This one I bought um, kind of as a joke because uh, the whole live, laugh, love has sort of gotten overused and is kind of a caricature of itself right now. This is by Fringe, so I don't think that it's vintage at all. Made in China, Fringe. Uh, but it's made to look vintage, live, laugh, love. And I love the ridging on the bottom. So I can see you. I can see you on YouTube doing your stuff with this mug or at work or at home, smoking your cigarette on the porch <laughs> with your live, laugh, love mug. <laughs> I'm teasing. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, with every mug that you buy, you get a really cool, um, uh, I know what I'm going to say, coaster. You get a really cool coaster. I bought a whole bunch of coasters just to send them to you guys uh, for this sale. So I have three different kinds, so we'll see which one you get. Okay, this is another vintage one that I took off of eBay for this sale. It's a tea mug in that it says all the different types of teas. So you could type various types of tea mug or something like that. Um, it is signed Japan and has a stamp, so it is vintage. I don't see, I, I see one little, it's not a scratch, it's like a manufacturer's flaw where the glaze came down, dripped down a little bit, but that's it. I mean, clearly they show wear at the bottom, but, and the handle is brown, I like that. So there's that one. My cat is wanting attention. This one is cool. This I got in um, Pennsylvania and it's peanuts. It's Sally. It says life goes on. Life goes on. Yeah, it does. It says peanuts and then it's got Sally on the swing. It's a little bit bigger. So this is probably what a 16 ounce would you say? It's a little bit bigger. I will ship these priority mail and they will ship um, as cheap as I can. Uh, they are shipping from Maine, so just know that. And you can just put Sally. I'll know what you mean. Speaking of Sally, we also have Lucy. And she says, I like talking, I hate listening. So if you're sassy, and I know some of you are, you might like this one. And it's by Camp Snoopy. So it is marked on the bottom. There's some other stuff, but it, it's a little harder to read. I think it just says the Peanuts Company. And I'm not sure why this one is throwing off so much light. But yeah, Lucy likes talking. She hates listening. So there's that one. Then there is this, uh, I think this is Ot Otagiri, but it 
it's not marked. I think somebody told me that it was. This is a smaller vintage mug with bears on it. See the bear, let's see, dragonfly and a bear. Again, just $6. No signature that I can see and in great shape. So you could just put vintage bear mug because it's the only one. Brown bear mug, whatever you wanna say. So this, what, it, what would this be? I don't know how many ounces these more vintage ones are because these are, oh no, that's even a little bit smaller than that one. So you guys probably just saw this in a haul if you watch my hauls. Um, I haven't cleaned it as well as I should, but this is the advice from the dog. And it says, ask for what you want loudly if necessary. Go after what you want. Unleash your talents. Learn new tricks often. On the back, it says, delight in the simple joy of being with people you love. So this is a dog lover mug for sure with the paws. And it says, make today perfect inside. But I was thinking like, why didn't they say make today possum? Like awesome, possum. But they didn't. This one is by Our Name is Mud, and it has an artist like Louis Vasset. Cool. Just $6. And shipping. Okay. They're all over here. This one I love because it does seem like one of the very first ones. This is a vintage copy of World's Greatest Dad. So... We kind of pick on these mugs nowadays, but this is the mug every dad got back in the day. World's greatest dad. Happy Father's Day. So this one has like a, oh, it's stamped USA. I think that's how I knew how old it was. World's greatest dad. Speaking of world's greatest dad, we'll go to mom. The nicest mom in the whole wide world. The nicest mom anyone could ask for. And it's made to look like cross stitch. And this is by Mug Mates by Hallmark. And I thought it had a date. It is made in Japan. So a little bit vintage. I don't think Hallmark is out of Japan anymore, but I could be wrong. Okay, this is a big one, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel, this is the rocking chair edition. I believe it's out of print. I love Cracker Barrel mugs and some of them are my the ones I use, they're my favorites. They're just like the right size, I like the feel of them and they're sturdy, uh, thick. And they, this one says made in Thailand. And what I like about them is that they kind of go in and like, they go out of print. So they're a little bit collectible, you know, you, you have to get them, get them while they're hot. And then uh, afterwards, if you want them, you have to find them on eBay. So this is the rocking chair edition on the old, on the back, it says old country store. And speaking of Cracker Barrel, this one, I know they don't, if I am fairly certain they don't make any more. I took this off of eBay for this sale. I did have it priced much higher because it is collectible. It's the teal owl, which is hard to find. So this is a Cracker Barrel, $6. And you can just write teal owl or Cracker Barrel owl, out Cracker Barrel owl. And I'll know which one you want. And this again is a bigger I, don't, I wish I knew the ounces. I wouldn't say 20 ounce. Those are really big. I have one of those, but my color is changing. It must be changing outside. It's raining outside here. Then we have a World Market mug that I really like. This one is a sheep. And it, inside it says, hey, you. Isn't that cute? So if you drink right-handed, somebody will be saying hi to you every time you take a sip. 
If you go this way, you're blocking it with your lips, but you're showing everybody you're really cool sheep. So, so sheep mug, could put that. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to pull these over. Okay, we're good. So this one I know a friend of mine wanted and I hope she gets it. So I'm gonna tell her to watch this video. This is a pottery mug. Again, that I forgot to take the, take the price off of. It's not signed. And it is an owl on one side with one wing showing and an owl on the other side with both wings showing. So this one I would put, instead of the teal owl, you could put pottery owl or brown owl and I'll know what you mean. So I hope you get this. You know who you are. I'll tell you to watch the video right away. <laughs> so um, this one, I really like the vintage look of this. So it's a winter scene. So you could do winter scene mug. It's vintage. No issues with it. It is stoneware made in Korea, hand decorated. Not exactly sure what that means, but a little bit of like stirring spoon went on in there. I don't, I didn't see that in any others, but so this had some use, but is in perfect shape, except for, you know, some stirring that went on inside. Okay, this one's funny. Whoa! Has no markings on the bottom either. Just... So you could do a surprised face mug. <laughs> That's a surprised face, right? Or a... You decide. You decide. I want to say something inappropriate. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to, guys. You're trying me. I know. I know. But I'm not going to do it. Okay, so I think that's... Okay, that's... No, that's not it for the regular mugs. There's one more. This is Lord & Taylor. Literally, it's a Lord & Taylor mug, which I did not even know existed. So, it says Lord & Taylor. It's a house. Pink and purple. I probably should have put it in my pink and purple sale this week, this Sunday. But um, I saw a little bit of paint loss, I thought. Yep. One flea bite up there. See that? And was there another flea bite? That might be it. Yeah, the rest looks good. It looks hand painted. So this is the Lord & Taylor mug, $6. Okay, so now those are all the single mugs, except for my two misfit mugs. You guys know, I think you know, that I absolutely love rescuing misfit items. Misfit art. Not just items, misfit art. So when people make things at home or they're novice at making something and it's a little wonky, a little funky, those are my favorite things to buy at thrift, stop, thrift sh shops and yard sales and so forth and so on. But mostly I see them at thrift stores. So I feel like I'm rescuing them from the, from the garbage um, because not everybody wants misfit things. But some of you do. I feel like some of you do. There's an energy to them, a history. I just love it. I keep a lot of them. I'm parting with a couple of these. So here's my first one. So you could put... Well, I would put Finding Nemo mug <laughs> because this big one, which could be a soup bowl, has the f like Nemo clownfish applied handle. This is pottery. This it was made by HG. God love HG. The color combo is quite something. Very bright orange inside. You will wake up when you drink coffee out of this you will wake up and this is a conversation piece if you don't have children you can pretend uh, your children made this or if no if you have children that don't make you anything 
I may have one of those. You can just pretend they made you this. <laughs> My son loves me. He just doesn't like to make things. He's made a couple things in his youth. I think he was forced to. But um, yeah, it's speckled inside, like splatter paint. It's well done. It's just, it's just funky and a little bit misfit. So uh, this one, too, is only $6. It's a big one. So you know how to type that in if you want it. There's another Misfit mug that I've shown you in a haul, which this is absolutely stunning and may have been made in a studio, AED. But, and it's like, I call it a Maine scene because I live in Maine, but it's got trees, a nice glazing. Oh, everybody wants me. Probably for money. <laughs> it's got a little drip glaze inside. I'm joking. I don't really get, I get like the, um, you know, car warranty ones. And that one said Illinois. So unless it's one of my thrifting friends in Illinois, they're probably trying to sell me a car warranty. So here's the thing about this one. The, um, the handle is wonky. Your eyes are not deceiving you. It is applied wonky. The whole cup is crooked. I, I know it's hard to see on camera. And I know I showed you guys in the hall, like how it sits very wonky. Um, it does. Just trust me. It's wonky. It's not uniform. It's higher up on this side than it is over here. But it looks like Monet painted it. Oh, you can see when I turn it that it has higher and lower top on the top. Yeah. AED made this and it can be yours for $6. And you can also pretend your kids made this for you if you want. Or your niece or nephew or your grandkids. So, yeah. So you could put wonky Monet cup <laughs> or anything I said. I'll know what you mean. So now those were all the $6 cups, mugs. So I have a couple of sets and then go at it. Uh, leave your comments. So let's see. The first set is kind of a forced set. This is an Irish coffee mug that I love, 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 but I already have some. And it shows you, you know, you put your whiskey, this much whiskey, this much sugar, this much coffee, and this much cream. It says Irish coffee on the uh, bottom of the stem. This is the stem. There's a word for the bottom. You guys know it. So I wanted to put this with the creamer that I just got. The Irish creamer that I just got with the prayer on it that I read to you guys. It's the one, uh, May the Rose Road Rise to Meet You. You can tell I'm stressed out. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. So I wanted to put these two together. And I'm going to put these two together for $10. So you could put the Irish coffee set for $10 plus shipping. No chips, cracks, no issues with those. Um, the only thing I guess worth mentioning is that there's gold on the rim. And in some spots of this, the gold is sort of rubbed off. Yeah, in like one big spot, the gold is missing. But that's it. Okay, another set. This is a set of three, and these are the Covington Stoneware mugs that are this gorgeous, like, pink, light brown mix. I love the feel of these. I love the plates that go with these. I love everything about this stoneware. This is vintage. There are three of them. There are three, and they're all in excellent condition, so you could put three... Covington mugs or set of three mugs because it's nope it's not my only set of three so set of three floral mugs that would work too and uh what did I have I think 
set of three, we can do $12 for these. The set of three, $12, and they are lovely. And they're just a nice weight. They're just really, really nice. I have a set of two. Um, are these marked? That I showed you in a haul that are absolutely gorgeous, but I don't understand the mouth area. I don't understand the opening because it's very small. Well, not very small. It's smaller than I've seen. I mean, here's the world's greatest dad mug. It's just small. I don't get it. Um, but I can drink out of it. It's not, it's not impossible. The, um, graphics are on one side and the two of them go together. They're in great shape, beautiful shape. I really think they're vintage, but I don't see any markings. So the two of these together, $10. So you could just put small mouthed bird mugs <laughs> or set of two bird tree mugs or whatever you think however you think i'll figure it out then um these are really neat this is kent pottery from england i'll show so these are for the two i took these off of ebay as well so i could sell them to you the rooster and chicken so rooster on one side, hen on the other. They're both chickens. And it says, day breaks, cockerel crows, shiny feathers, scratchy toes. And it's got little chicks. The other one, oh, and on the side, on the handle it says, crow, crow, crow. Yeah, crow, crow, crow. And then, oh, and then inside, it's got surprises everywhere. Inside says day breaks. These are collectible. I've seen quite a few different kinds on eBay. So the, these are ducks. And I'm putting them together. The handle says duck, duck, duck. The writing around it said feather, fe says feathers white, beaks yellow, happy ducks, feeling mellow and then inside says feathers white so we'll put the two of these together for ten dollars plus shipping Kent pottery the last set is for a set of three these as I understand it are not that collectible because they're uh, Royal Norfolk However, they're out of print. So someone told me that these sell at the dollar store, that Royal Norfolk is a dollar store brand. And they're right. They're, it's also a brand that Walmart, um, I think I saw Walmart selling them and Amazon. But sometimes, you know, the leftovers go to the dollar store. So these very well could have been picked up at the dollar store. I bought them at a thrift shop. They are in great condition. They're Cardinals. So who doesn't love Cardinals? There are three of them. So I'll do the three. Um, again, they're out of print. So, and they're beautiful. So even though they might have initially been purchased at the dollar store, they cannot be purchased there right now. And uh, there's a little bit of age to them. When I looked them up, I want to say they might have been 90s or early 2000s. But for the three, $12. For the three Cardinal mugs. And that's it, guys. That's our sale. So you will be getting fun coasters with the mugs that you buy. The dogs slept right through. Look at the puppy. They did a good job. It's their quiet time anyway. So I'm going to go edit this video, get it ready for you, so that you guys can start making some purchases. I'm going to tell my friend she better get on the owl. And... Um, yeah, that's it. I will be soon opening a Truxty Huckster Mercantile geocaching box. So maybe I'll do that next so we can look and see what's inside. And then we get to add something to it and mail it to the next person. So that's fun. 
I love you guys so much. Thank you. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you in the next video. And thank you so much for your support. I love you so much. Bye for now.